I didn't get around to talking about it last week, but certainly wanted to make sure that I touch base on it for a few moments here in this video because um, last week you got some big news coming out of Tony Khan's mouth involving AEW and some changes involving their programming. And this is not a small insignificant thing. So it felt like it was worth talking about for a few minutes. Of course, you had all types of people posting their opinions online and via social media, what have you, about what this deal is, what it does, what it means for the company now and in the future. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that myself from my perspective. But here's basically the long and short of it. And if I'm misrepresenting or misstating anything, please feel free to check my nuts in the comment section. Let me rewind that. Not necessarily check my nuts. That's a, more of a, like, check me. There we go. How about that? All right. So, basically, here's what's happening. The first big news is that AEW Dynamite is going to be moving from TNT to TBS. So, obviously, still within the Turner family, just on a different Turner network, starting in 2022. But wait, there's more. AEW is also going to have another hour of wrestling on primetime national cable television. That show, at least as it's announced right now, is going to be called Rampage, and that's going to be on Friday nights on TNT from 10 to 11. And as a separate piece of that, while Dynamite, the flagship show, is moving over from TNT to TBS, and you're adding the hour-long Rampage show on TNT on Friday nights, you're also going to get four super card events, whatever you want to call them, super shows, almost Clash of Champions type of feeling shows that are going to be run, you know, I assume quarterly, on TNT uh, starting in 2022. So certainly some big news there, some notable changes. And, you know, I've seen over the past several days people express... A lot of different opinions. A lot of people talk about how this was really good. Some people kind of criticize or question the move a little bit. And and let me let me come at it from this standpoint: is what the fuck is there to criticize about this? Now, there are plenty of things that I criticize AEW about in terms of their approach and their philosophy and their product and their presentation. But from a business standpoint, what exactly are the pitfalls here? You got to help me understand this. First, I kind of applaud Tony Khan for doing the right thing because he referenced a little bit that TNT, Turner, had come to him and asked him if he wanted to have add a third hour on to Dynamite. And he said, no, I feel like that's better done on a different night, a different show, different time slot. Thank you, sweet Jesus almighty, Tony Khan. We did not need another three-hour weekly wrestling television show. So thank you for saving the fans that. The talent that, and frankly, your company as a whole that. Because I can promise you, if you'd have done that and made that move and caved into the network and t added that third hour, we've seen with Raw the damage and consequences that can manifest as a result. So I'm very thankful that they didn't put this third hour onto Wednesday nights. Very thankful. But, but, but again, I'm trying to figure out like how this is a bad thing. You know AEW got more money to move from TNT to TBS, especially when you factor in the fact that they're now going to have a second show that's one hour long on a different night on Friday nights. And you're going to have the four kind of super card shows that they currently don't have. So you're providing more content, which means more money. Please, for the love of effing God, Help me understand why this would be a bad thing for Tony Khan, the EVPs, for AEW as a company. What the hell is wrong with this? Nothing. If anything, this should serve as some type of validation that they were performing well or relatively well in terms of overall viewership, in terms of performance in the key demographic, at least to the point where they're doing well enough where the network views them as a viable entity that they want to continue to invest in, and not only at the same level, but at additional levels than what has been previously established in their working business relationship. I fail to see how that's a bad thing. 
It doesn't make any sense to say it's a bad thing. You get another platform on Friday night, still keeping some of your footprint on the TNT network, and you can follow up on what happened on Dynamite on that show. You can do some different things. You can feature more of your talent, which is actually a bit of the problem that you have, is that you have all of these people under contract, and you either can't possibly use close to half of them, or you're trying to use too many damn people, and it impacts the core show, which is Dynamite. So you have this vehicle on Friday nights that runs unopposed because SmackDown goes 8 to 10 Eastern and then Rampage would be from 10 to 11 Eastern, at least the way it sits right now. You're going to have that one hour show you could do all types of different things with, be creative with, form it in your own way, and you're getting more money to do this. Which also indicates more shows, more money means relationship with Turner is really good. AOL, Time Warner, whoever the fuck. And it indicates it's really good. The hell would you want to sit there and criticize that? And if you're going to say, well, moving from TNT to TBS, that feels like a downgrade, I guess it depends on your perspective. Now look, if you said TNT feels like the hotter or more appealing of the two networks, the more hip of the two networks, I might agree with you. Now, whether that's always necessarily grounded in ratings logic, et cetera, depends. Like, you throw in things like NBA, et cetera, like, probably got a little point there. I would agree the vibe is stronger with TNT than it would be with a TBS. But TBS, I think, is in an extra million homes compared to TNT. So if anything is a byproduct of this, you get exposure to more households that you can be on their televisions. That doesn't automatically translate to ratings, but it does mean that the pool you're drawing from is a little bit larger. Not a ton, but still a little bit larger. So how is that a bad thing? You could potentially get in front of more eyeballs. And making that network move, even if you got in front of a few more thousand eyeballs, that obviously makes it even more worth it. But even if it doesn't, like, are the people that watch AEW Dynamite now going to stop watching it because it goes from TNT to TBS in 2022? Fuck no. That's ridiculous to say so. They're going to either watch or not watch based off a variety of factors, which most importantly of all has nothing to do with whether they air on TBNT or TBS. Furthermore, I would suggest it's actually a positive thing because you might say, well, the NHL had something to do with it. Sure they did. But the last thing that you want to be having happen with Dynamite, if you're an AEW fan, is to sit there and have their shows continue to be preempted because of the NBA playoffs or because of NHL games or because of this bullshit or that bullshit. Now you can put them on a TBS network where they're not going to get preempted as often. You want to damage your brand. You want to damage your show. Have it go later on than what it's used to. Like people create habits, rituals for what they do and when they do it. And if you start changing that format too often of, hey, I'm expected to come here Wednesday night 8 to 10, but it's the playoffs instead. So now i got to try and watch it Thursday night at 10 o'clock or Wednesday night at 11 o'clock. Like, why would you do that? To be stubborn? No. Now you could sit there and go and be even a more featured part of the TBS offering as opposed to TNT, where you could say Dynamite was an offering, was a key offering, a building block offering of what the network was trying to do. But with TBS, it's different. Like, you could say that that importance to that network grows even more. So you get an extra show, which means more money. You get more super card events on TNT. So now you've actually, instead of primarily everything being just housed within TNT, now your footprint has expanded to TBS, but you're still keeping some of that footprint in TNT. Again, I fail to see how any of this is anything other than a really good deal for the company. How this isn't really good news. It just is. Really. You can find lots of reasons to hate on AEW. This ain't one of them. And even when I look at like the, the super card shows, if anything, one of the challenges that they have with their current pay-per-view model of doing four pay-per-views a year is they, I don't know that they have the skill to be able to tell those type of layered intricate stories to be able to keep and generate the interest enough to where your payoffs only basically come every three months. Now, sometimes they do some of these souped up dynamite episodes to some degree, but those only help but so much. So yeah, I can certainly see the validity or the point. It opens up options and possibilities of what you could do. Like you could have a tag team tournament be one of those shows. A women's tournament be one of those shows. 
Now you do any number of things. But again, all good things here. So if anything, it heartens me and encourages me that this still relatively new wrestling promotion has been around a little over a year and a half isn't constricting, isn't staying stagnant. They're growing and expanding. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Obviously, one of the keys will be to continue to kind of stay in their own lane is to continue to focus on themselves and do the best that they can for themselves and trying to grow their appeal and their scope and their audience. And I sometimes question whether or not they truly understand how to do that. But in terms of just from a sheer dollars and cents standpoint, this makes dollars. So this absolutely makes fucking sense. This new TV deal for AEW, this new configuration is a really, really good thing, no matter what ends up being the result.